Okay, so let's try this out. You are seeing me on the vlog cam today. Hey everyone. Um, and this is just going to be a work in progress. I have decided that I'm going to do a sew along or follow me along as I make the vintage ladies three piece suit pattern which is probably like late 50s early 60s i mentioned it in my previous weeklies the weeklies are kind of my weekly vlog updates if you have not seen that one i will put the link to that down below in the information bar and also up here like that so this is a new format i don't know how this is going to work i don't know how far we're going to get to in this first vlog but essentially I'm going to take you along as I make my three-piece lady suit. I think I'm going to make all three pieces. That's the top, the skirt, and the line jacket. We're going to go shopping for fabrics. You're going to see how I kind of work through um, a project as well as how I choose fabrics. And even though I like to work with a lot of vintage patterns, I do like to modernize it with uh, my choice of fabrics and, you know, patterns and colors and things like that. So... I just received the package Ta -da, right here and it comes from Columbus, Ohio. Now since I do not have any friends from Columbus, Ohio, I presume this is the sewing pattern. I have not opened it, I have not seen it in person, so I'm very stoked about this. FYI, these vlogs are going to be minimally edited, so if the sun goes in, comes out, exposure changes, it's live and it's unedited and it's raw. There you go. Okay, let's open up my sewing pattern, which, you know, it's really hard to find sewing patterns that are factory folded, which means no one has used it yet. Um, it's in the exact condition that it would be if someone were to buy it in that era. So I believe when I bought this, it was labeled as factory folded, which means it's extra exciting. No one has used it yet. So, ta-da! And it is right here. So that's my invoice. Comes wrapped with a little gold sticker. That's very cute. The sticker has my initials on it. Check that out. Talk about customer service. Um, Etsy's a great place to go and shop for vintage patterns. And sometimes you can find some great prices as well. So I love that it's got the tissue. And then inside the cellophane bag, let me just open the bag for you as well. Here is the pattern. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's have a closer look. Hopefully my camera will focus. Um, this is the three-piece suit pattern. It is a Simplicity 4141 in the Mrs. Size 14 with a measurement of... Let me read that for you. Size 14 is a 34, 26, 36. I am about a 34, 27, 37, which is an inch off. It may or may not be a big deal depending on how much ease they give you in this uh, particular pattern. So I chose this one because this simplicity pattern is a proportion pattern meaning that it has already been designed with um, cutting lines for both tall and medium as well as short, um, I guess, heights. So normally I would say a medium height is about 5'7", or at least in current um, American standards. Um, if you're tall, you are above that. If you're shorter, you are a five, three and under. Oh, here we go. They say that um, according to this pattern, I'm just reading it now, the medium is five, four to five, six, and then the tall is five, seven over. So it, there is a bit of discrepancy between patterns back then and, you know, measurements now. But essentially, if you are short, you know you are short and you fall into, you know, the petite category. So I chose the three-piece suit and I paid quite a bit for this compared to how much I would normally pay for patterns just because I wanted something that was already proportioned for me so I don't have to make any adjustments myself. So it comes with the instruction sheet like so. Ta-da! Instruction sheet. And then our pattern is pristine factory folded, no cutting lines. 
I'm really excited to dig into this. The first thing I'll have to do is definitely to trace out my pattern pieces and then we can go fabric shopping. Mm -hmm. We are back from the fabric store and I have some exciting things to show you. I think we've made up our mind about exactly what I'm using, what color combination, and even much more fun, I'm actually going to line the jacket because the jacket of our three-piece suit is meant to be lined. I'm going to line the jacket as well as inter, what is it called? Underline. Underline the skirt, which is not quite the same as a lining but kind of the same and I'll talk you through that once we get to that part in the sewing process. So just as a reminder of course this is our three-piece suit and I have decided to stick to the original idea of having the suit jacket and the skirt be made out of the same fabric and be matchy matchy. So I guess let's get on to the exciting part. I was in the fabric store for ages trying to find exactly what I wanted. I was lucky when I rummaged through my own fabric stash that I found enough of a piece of fabric that I want to use for the outer um, portion of the jacket as well as the skirt. So I'll show you that first. And recall that our vintage pattern is I want to say a late 50s to an early 60s style. However, I bought a long time ago actually to make a pair of pants this gorgeous dusty pink baby corduroy, which is by the way very 70s. Corduroy is very 70s, especially orange and brown, earthy tone corduroy. For some reason, think of like that vintage couch. You know what I mean? So, baby cord. Um, this is a dusty rosy color, which I just love. And I bought three meters of this, intending to use it for a pair of pants. And then realized that corduroy actually shows wear marks quite easily. So on your knees, on your bum, um, or I guess if you're making a top where the elbows are, you're gonna get a lot of wear marks. So instead, since I have three meters, that's more than enough to use for our suit right here. So the out, the outer piece of the jacket and the skirt will be this dusty pink baby cord, which I thought would be a lot of fun. Let me just slip that in here. Okay, now for the lining. After the fabric store, I went looking for a fun print in a lining because I wanted, you know, despite um, making a lot of vintage patterns, I love using original authentic vintage um, styles instead of kind of making the modern inspired versions, I'd rather use the original printed pattern. I still want to modernize um, the clothes that I make. So not necessarily make it look authentically vintage, but update it with my own uh, choice of colors or patterns or prints and fabrics and things like that. Therefore, I went into the store specifically looking for this fox print. So I saw this last time I was in the store and I was absolutely smitten but couldn't decide what I would ever use it for and I wasn't just about to drop my money down for a piece of fabric that has no purpose although sometimes I still succumb to those things. However, I went back and they only had a meter and a half of this and I took everything that was left on the bolt and they had nothing else left over. So this is not quite enough to line the jacket and, inter and underline the skirt. So this might be used for the top or I might save for something else. It's a very fluid rayon fabric, so quite cool to the touch. Um, but I think it might be a bit too soft for the top. I'm not 100% sure yet. Let me know what you think. Or I might just keep this for another project since there is a meter and a half, which is significant enough to make um, a simple dress or maybe another type of top or something like that. But the foxes. 
Seriously, the foxes are adorable. Okay. Instead, um, I decided to go with this very, I want to say, 60s inspired, slightly psychedelic-ish print. Um, like this. I thought this was so fun. It's on a gray base. Gray base. Uh, with, I guess, flower, floral designs um, spread out throughout the print and different size flowers. But these are very graphic, um, stylized flower designs. They're not, you know, realistic flowers. And they come in these beautifully bright colors, pops of yellow, of purple, of bright pink and blues. And I just thought this was so much fun. And it will be super fun against our dusty pink corduroy because it would be a nice contrast. You have, you know, the corduroy which is in a way slightly relaxed of the fabric. Um, definitely much more relaxed than if I were to use um, like a jacquard or something stiffer with more body. So generally speaking, corduroy is quite a, a casual type of fabric. But then you pair it with this really fun print on the inside. So in my mind, a matchy-matchy, you know, suit jacket and skirt is slightly more formal. But then you open it up and you show this fun print. I think this will be really nice. So this was, I think, $5.99 a meter. And I bought three meters of this just to cover, you know, any accidental mistakes or whatever that might happen in the cutting of the fabric for this pattern so I should have more than enough to line the jacket and to underline the skirt let me know what you think of my fabric choice like I went kind of on the expensive side and I put that you know in perspective depending on my style my spending I normally would only buy fabric in the clearance section and Dresso has a great clearance room because you know most of the stuff they have in there are quite decent quality it's just overstock or things that they're no longer carrying or trying to sell out or one of bolts and such so you won't get consistency in terms of you know a lot of choice in patterns or a lot of choice in colors but if you just want to experiment or um you're still learning to sew your own clothes and you want to spend a lot of money on fabric to begin with that's a great place the clearance section but I did buy this and the fox print upstairs um, in the regular fabric section but I went on the lower price point at $5.99 I thought that was all right for our three-piece suit so let me know your thoughts on my fabric pattern choice and color scheme um, and wish me luck we're gonna start cutting fabric very soon so I'll see you in the next vlog